Hello and welcome to Animation Desk Tutorial Part 2. So open up uh, Animation Desk on um, whatever it is you're using there. And uh, the first thing I'm going to do is just take a look at my frames here, get an idea where I left off. Uh, and what I did is copy and pasted that last frame. Um, I think I put 15 more in to give me some more frames in which I can work that do have the sun included because prior to that the sun was not included. So what I'm going to do now is get back to working on the drip of water that's coming down from the top center. And I'm going to use the cutting tool and do a cut and paste uh, method for this. Uh, so what I do is I actually cut the drop out and then advance to the next frame, move and transform the drip as it comes down. And also, uh, you can see in the end here, what I've done is combine that with a little bit of frame by frame animation by drawing uh, kind of a blue kind of absorbing uh, water in the snow there. Uh, always a good idea at this point here, what I'm doing is testing or playing my animation uh, to see if it's actually looking the way I had planned. Um, sometimes when I do this, I either speed up or slow it down by changing the frames per second uh, to see if it works both maybe a little bit slower, possibly a little bit faster. So I'm pretty happy with the drip right now, so now I'm going to move on to some uh, hand drawing and frame by frame animation within the flower. So what I do here is I, uh, I'm actually combining this a little bit with the cutting tool. Um, I'm going to cut the flower out, paste it into the next frame, and then hand draw and enlarge the petals on the flower. This saves a little bit of time by copying and pasting parts of the flower that already exist. Uh, into the frames as, as you advance and then basically doing some frame by frame animation and drawing uh, within the petals itself enlarging that flower and maybe changing the look of it you can see where I've added a little bit of white to the petals um, and again every once in a while take a little stop um, check your work uh, in fact what I found there was that I had a little mistake in one of my frames um, so in the end here I actually duplicate it again I think I put in about 10 more frames with the flower. So at this point, I know those things are going to be static or stand still. Uh, and what I'm going to do here is I'm going to uh, do some text that'll kind of advance through um, in the frames in the animation. So I added the letter S, I advance a frame, add the letter P, advance a frame, add the letter R. Uh, and with each advance of frame, I'm actually duplicating uh, over there in the, in the uh, toolbar, you do have a duplicate button, which allows me to duplicate the last frame so I don't lose the S that I had done previous in the previous frame. The result is what you see there where you actually get the letter getting spelled out or the word getting spelled out letter by letter. Uh, I didn't love my text so much. It was kind of quickly hand drawn. So what I'm doing now is um, adding some highlights and shadows and <clears throat> working on the text a little bit uh, just in the last frames there so I, I did that in the last frame and what I'll do is I'll copy and paste that a little bit as well so it stays up for a sec and finally again <clears throat> there's the finished animation of course I can go back and revise or refine this I can speed it up I can slow it down I can go to certain frames and change things but overall, I've got three objects moving, a little springtime message. Hope you enjoyed it, and thanks for watching.